Hello and welcome to Here Tutoring. In this video, we're going to go through numbers 1 through 5 of the 2013 to 2014 preparing for the ACT practice tests. You can find a link to this practice test below this video. This video will include answers and explanations as well as the best and quickest way to do each question. Make sure you have the practice test and the questions in front of you since we can't reproduce them here for copyright reasons. Question number one. The concept this question tests is writing an algebraic expression. We are told that the weekly fee is $20 per vehicle and $10 per person, and that last year there were V vehicles and P persons. So the weekly fees for last year will be 20 times V plus 10 times P, since the word per tells us that we need to multiply the dollar amount by the number of vehicles or people. The answer is A or 20V plus 10P. Question number two. The concept this question tests is order of operations. According to PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, then subtraction, we're going to do the parentheses first and then multiplication. In the first parentheses, we have R plus B minus G, or 9 plus 5 minus negative 6. And if we change the minus and negative 6 to plus the positive 6, we have 9 plus 5 plus 6, which equals 20. In the second parentheses, we have b plus g, or 5 plus negative 6, which equals negative 1. Now, we have 20 times negative 1, which equals negative 20. So, f is the correct answer. Question number 3. The concept this question tests is distance equals rate times time, or in this case, total copies equals rate times time. Here we have 60 copies per minute for the first machine, and 80 copies per minute for the second machine. We're told that both machines stop 8 minutes after the first machine starts, so the total copies for the first machine will be 60 times 8, or 480. We're also told that the second machine starts 2 minutes after the first machine, which means that it runs for 6 minutes, or 8 minus 2 minutes. So the total copies for the second machine will be 80 times 6, or 480 also. Finally, we add the total copies for each machine together to get 960 copies for both machines. The answer is E. Question number four. The concept this question test is calculating the average. The first thing we need to do is find the average of this first five scores, which is the sum of the scores divided by the number of games, which is 210 plus 225 plus 254 plus 231 plus 280 divided by five, which equals 240. If he wants to maintain his exact average, he simply needs to bold this same score for the next game. So the answer is J, 240. Question number five. The concept this question tests is distance equals rate times time, or in this case, pay equals rate times time. If she earns $7.50 per hour for the first 40 hours, then her pay equals 7.5 times 40, which equals 300. Next, if she earns one and a half times her regular pay for every hour over 40, and she works 42 hours, then she gets paid 1.5 times 7.5 for two hours. So we do 1.5 times 7.5 times two to find her overtime pay, which equals 22.5. Finally, we add together 300 and 22.5, which gives us $322.50. So the answer is C. In the next video, we're going to go over answers for questions six through 10. Thanks for watching, and I will see you there.